the true importance of staging your home. Are you planning on selling your house anytime soon? I highly recommend staging. First of all, I will say we are not stagers. We don't sell staging services. That's not what we do. However, the impact of staging on our house that we just sold is honestly kind of ridiculous. We didn't expect the process to be as complicated and as hard as it was, but it truly was worth it. So let's talk about why we did what we did and why we thought the effort was worth it and the impact our realtors and our stager had on the sale of our home. We met with our real estate agents to start prepping the process of putting our house up for sale. And we found out that they had a staging console as part of their package. And if your real estate agent doesn't offer this, make sure you get at a minimum a staging console for yourself. And we'll go through the reason why after, but it is truly important. So we find out that this was part of our package. We thought we had this under control. We thought we had an idea of what this was all gonna be and what staging of a house was. Uh, Luke used to do real estate photography. We, we had an idea of what that was gonna look like. The consultant stager came in and her first comment was, you might like me now, but you're not gonna like me at the end of this process. And we kind of chuckled. We said, yeah, yeah, okay, all good. And we started going room by room and went through all of her recommendations. She's a pro. She literally does this for a living. And as she went in, there were certain things that we had obviously already thought about, like making sure we decluttered certain things, removed any jewelry, costume or otherwise, especially obviously expensive jewelry. Um, in the age of COVID, when we sold our house, every Thing was a little bit easier in that sense because people were only coming in with their realtors. So we didn't really have to worry so much about like theft and things like that, but we still had to keep those things in mind. And so removing certain things from the house, um, obviously anything that's personal, picture, frames, all those wonderful things. And as we went room by room, the list started getting longer and longer and longer. And we were two days out from photography and videography at this point, and we're like, how the heck are we gonna get all of this done in two days? I'm a person with a disability. I can only do so much, which is not a heck of a whole lot during these days. So thankfully we had some family uh, able to come and help us, but the list of things that we needed to consider was quite long. And we looked at ourselves and said, okay, we're being told by our real estate agent and the professional stager that if we did all of these things, that we had a better chance of getting above market value for our home. So we said, we'll put in the work and hope that what they're telling us, they're the pros, we're gonna get what we should get in return for this house. And so we started the process of staging and I'm gonna go over a few of the things that we had to do for staging reasons um, and a few things we didn't expect to have to do. Obviously the decluttering and things of that nature, we thought we had already decluttered. We needed to declutter 10 times more than we originally thought. If you want an idea of what a decluttered house for sale looks like, go into a staged brand new home at the parade of homes or wherever they have like home shows and stuff like that. That's the level at which you need to declutter your house. The only things that should be left behind are decor here and there, very specifically chosen within your color scheme and very neutral. You want people to walk into this house and no matter what their palette or aesthetic is, they'll see themselves in your home. And that's truly what staging is there for, is to create an environment, like a, a very open and in, inviting environment for people to come into your house and see themselves there. That's why you're selling, right? So we ran to Ikea, or rolled to Ikea, I should say, 
and went and bought everything our stager recommended. We needed more paintings, we needed more frames, we needed a few more decor pieces, we needed this and that, and the list goes on. $800 later, which I was floored by, might I say, we leave with a car full of stuff. And so the family comes in and we spend the next 48 hours, two full nights, going through the house again, pulling everything that she had recommended that we remove, putting up all these paintings at a very key space, by the way. If you have someone who's roughly five feet tall, which thankfully we do, or a measuring tape will do too, you want the center of the frame or the center of the painting to be at roughly five, five and a half feet off the floor. And the reason that is, is because it means that the center of the painting is at average height level for most people. We had no idea of this, so we learned something in this process. And we just, we staged the whole space. We went through and took all of her advice at heart and went through the entire house, packed, I think, 12 more boxes of stuff. And we hoped that everything that we removed, including the garbage cans, the soap, everything. It's a good thing we weren't living in the house be while we were selling because the house was unlivable at this point. Truly unlivable. Now you guys are probably all wondering, was it worth it? And the true reality was we had a number in mind of what we would have been happy with considering the market and the value of the home and the evaluation of everything. We had a rough number in mind of what we would have been very happy with after all the time and energy and money spent to stage the home and everything else that came with it. We almost doubled that number. We were ecstatic. And here's a footage of uh, me finding out what the second offer on our house was. I think you guys are gonna, I'm just gonna confirm which number this is, but this one will make your jaw drop here. I'll tell you that much. Um, okay. Um, we have one at 488,500. What did you just say? 488,500. So that's fantastic news, but we're gonna see the simulator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah, no, that's, yeah. yeah, we'll get into the nitty gritty. So. And I like the nitty gritty, so it's all good. <laughs> we were flabbergasted. And yeah, of course, the market was in a position that you, we, we had a shot at making some cash in the process of selling this house, uh, but we didn't expect what we got. And some of the comments the realtors gave our realtor in regards to the house was, the house showed beautifully and people were just kind of gobsmacked at how clean and easy the flow of the house was. And one of the buyers even mentioned the fact that they had seen a home identical to ours, which had sold across the street a few months prior. And they didn't expect the home to be that much better than the house they literally seen across the street and they were just so impressed. And it just validated the reason you listen to the pros. Yes, can people correlate the extra money we got from the market and all these things? Yeah, absolutely. But the reality is, is the two other homes that sold that were identical to ours didn't sell as high as ours. That's the reality of it all. They had finished basements, they had extra perks we didn't even have, and our house still sold for more. So I truly believe in the power of staging. And if you can do it yourself and just have a consult person come in and you know pay that person for maybe an hour or two of their time so they can walk you through the whole process, of course, that'll be the most cost-effective way. If you have some extra cash, and are able to just have a staging crew come in and do it for you, even better. But the impact of staging, I, I just, I can't explain enough the impact it had on our process. And I'm not saying it was easy, but 
If you want to make some extra cash and have a chance of selling your house at a better rate, it might be worth the effort. So I would at least at a minimum, talk to your realtor about it, see what they have to say, take it with a grain of salt. But this was our story and this is our experience with staging. And if we ever have to sell again, we'll be doing it again, that's for sure. Come roll with us next week as we take possession of our new house and uh, bring you along the journey of the renovations and everything that's gonna come after. So subscribe down below. If you have any questions or comments about staging or have any comments or wanna share your story, by all means, leave it in the comments. We'd love to hear your experiences and we'll see you guys all next week.